let's do question number eight. Okay, so again, of course, we switch x and y because we're looking for the inverse. And we want to solve for y, of course. We want to isolate this guy. And actually, let me pick a different color just so that we have more color on this video. x plus 1 is just x plus 1, of course, minus 5 to the power of 4 minus 3y. Great. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of this negative here. So we're going to get negative x minus 1 equals 5 to the power of 4 minus 3y. Now I'm just going to rewrite this equation in log form once again. So the base becomes the base of the log. This guy is just going to remain as negative x minus 1. And that's equal to just 4 minus 3y. Great. Now let's subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. So we get just log base 5, negative x minus 1, minus 4 equals negative 3y. Then we can just divide both sides by negative 3. And we're done. So y is equal to log base 5 of negative x minus 1 divided by negative 3. And if you want, you can even break this down, right? You can make it positive 4 over 3 because negative 4 divided by negative 3 is just 4 over 3. So let me just actually rewrite that for anyone that may, may be interested in an alternative way of writing this. We went out of room, of course. So I'm going to actually I'll try to write it down here. It'll be negative log base 5 of negative x minus 1 all over 3 plus 4 over 3. And that's it. 